in the following video, you guys gonna see exactly what true loves looks like. Okay, in today's culture, there, there are so many people that are confused about what love is. And oftentimes when we talk about love, it is oftentimes deemed to be something that is simply emotional and romantic and touchy feelings and so on. The first time I saw you, I thought, look at that boy. I'm going to love him forever and ever. Love is actually a principle. Love is God and God is love. And true love is based on the foundation of truth. When you love someone, you are truthful and honest in both the way you live and the way you speak to them. This video you're about to watch is a grandmother who is demonstrating love to, a, a, I will say, a granddaughter of hers by telling her the truth. This is what love looks like. Hi, so recently I texted my parents because I'm going to go home for Christmas and I said, hey, do you mind calling me Mike when I come back for Christmas? And then when I got home today, I got this letter from my grandma and it is addressed to Miss Old Name. Not actually, but you know, I don't want to say my real name on the internet. Dearest dead name. On this, our Blessed Mother's Feast Day, I am writing to tell you that I will not address you as Mike. My decision is probably not a surprise to you. Others may comply with your request. My anguish in your chosen name and what that means has to do with your eternal soul. Know that I love you more than words could ever possibly convey to you. No matter how you decide to identify yourself does not change my deep love for you, honey. Because of my concerns for your soul and your mental health, I am spending more time with Jesus in adoration. The, my cousin's last names, are doing the same for you. Um, then she lists my one, two, three, four, five cousins that are below the age of ten, who are apparently, um, offering up special personal sacrifices for me. Who I didn't tell, um, that I wanted to go by Mike. I didn't want to. I haven't talked with your godmother and her family, but I'm sure they would do the same for you. Do you know how much you are cherished and loved? It would be a joy to see you and be with you during the coming Christmas um, a celebration of our Lord's birth. All right, friends, I hope you enjoyed that one. That was good. Guys, this is how it's done. And I think we live in a time today where so many people are just affirming and confirming and going along with just about everything. Mental health is now being crowned as a way of life. All these different issues that are going on in our culture, people need to hear the truth. And the truth must always be spoken in love. And that's need to be done not just for the LGBT, but any and every single person. They need to hear the truth. Now, some are going to have an issue with it. They're going to lose their minds and call you all kind of funny names. But it is the truth that sets people free. And this grandmother did exactly the right thing. Make sure you like and subscribe to the page. I'll see you on the next one. Have a good one. Bye.